The Silurian Bridge, Alex Hunter, Book 11 by Greg Beck, is part of a series of action-packed novels featuring the protagonist Captain Alex Hunter, who heads an elite group of soldiers known as the Hadesees, highly trained army warrant characters. In this 11th installment, Beck once again thrusts the reader into a world of scientific mysteries, military action, and ancient secrets. The story begins with the discovery of two anomalies deep beneath the Antarctic ice, hinting at a possible bridge through time. A multinational science team, led by Dr. Amy Weir, is dispatched to investigate these mysterious phenomena, with Alex Hunter and his team providing security. However, upon arrival, the expedition quickly realizes that they are not alone. A secret Chinese military faction, intent on exploiting any potential power or weapons, is also seeking to uncover the anomaly's secrets. As the stakes escalate, the Heishab Sikhs encounter prehistoric creatures from the Silurian period that have somehow survived in an isolated ecosystem below the ice. This hidden world, contained within a bubble of time, is home to deadly marine predators and flying reptiles that have coexisted for millions of years, untouched by evolution. Not only must Alex and his team protect the scientists from these threats, but they also need to thwart the Chinese forces determined to seize control of what they believe could be a game-changing discovery. The Chinese are led by the ruthless General Zhao, who harbors a personal vendetta against Hunter, complicating the mission even further. Both the Heidewcs and the Chinese soldiers battle the prehistoric creatures while navigating the treacherous underground environment pushing everyone to their physical and mental limits. Amidst the chaos, it becomes evident that the true power of the anomaly lies not in its potential as a weapon, but in the terrifying implications it holds for the planet's future. Dr. Weir, who has unraveled the secrets of these Silurian bridges, finds evidence that they have been used before. The structures act as portals to different time periods, and disturbingly, they are beginning to destabilize. The team learns that these gateways were created by an ancient civilization for reasons unknown, but their existence and misuse could lead to catastrophic consequences for the Earth's timeline. Hunter and his hapdocs work to secure the site against the oncoming Chinese forces, engaging in intense combat both with enemy soldiers and primeval beasts. As both groups converge on the central hub of the anomalies, the fight reaches its apex. The tension peaks when Dr. Weir, with Hunter's help, attempts to disable the Silurian bridges before their instability causes a temporal collapse. During the final confrontation, General Zhao captures Dr. Weir, using her as leverage against Hunter. In a series of calculated risks and daring maneuvers, Hunter manages to rescue her and defeats Zhao in a brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat. Despite their success against the human adversaries, the team must now face the larger threat. Ensuring that the Silurian bridges do not implode and erase parts of history. With time running out, Hunter and Weir manage to devise a plan to close the anomalies. Dr. Weir recalibrates the ancient technology, and through a harrowing effort that pushes the entire team to their limits, they successfully initiate the bridge's collapse sequence. However, the victory comes at a cost. The resulting implosion causes massive subterranean upheaval, forcing the expedition to make a desperate escape to the surface. In a nail-biting finale, the team races against collapsing tunnels and aftershocks, fending off the last of the prehistoric creatures desperate to escape their dying world. The Heihabiks manage to reach the surface, but the Chinese faction, blinded by their ambitions, is not so fortunate and falls victim to both the beasts and the collapsing infrastructure. The Silurian Bridge culminates with the team safe and an even greater sense of camaraderie amongst the survivors. Alex Hunter and his Heiji Siegs have once again prevented a global disaster, but the experience has left indelible marks on everyone involved. Dr. Weir presents her findings to the international community, warning of the dangers of tampering with forces that humans do not fully understand. As the team reflects on the mission, questions linger about the ancient civilization that constructed the bridges and what became of them. Did they suffer the same fate that the Earth narrowly escaped? The implications of the Silurian bridges and the potential for other such anomalies around the globe set the stage for future crises that only Hunter and his team would be equipped to handle.
Beck wraps up the narrative with a sense of closure for this chapter of the Hoptis adventures, but leaves enough threads untied to promise more action-packed tales to come. Hunter, forever changed by the events he has witnessed, looks to the horizon, knowing that his duty to protect the world from unknown threats is far from over. In this 11th Alex Hunter novel, Beck combines fast-paced action with science fiction, melding the intrigue of ancient mysteries with modern-day military might. The exploration of time, existence, and the delicate balance of the Earth's history acts as a backdrop for the adrenaline-fueled encounters that define this thrilling addition to the Alex Hunter series. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.